I'm coming at you from winter sun reflected off the telly and into my eyes to bring you some kind of fun behind the scenes stuff. So if you watched my 2023 goals video, you will know that we're working on a bit of a redesign, rebrand, brand spruce up, little brand zhuzh here at Hannah Witten HQ. And I think it'll be fun to kind of take you along this journey, this process of like brainstorming and ideas and different like iterations and then to the kind of like final creation and launch of <laughs> whatever this is going to be. And this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your brand, online presence, business, side hustle, passion project with beautiful websites that allow you to engage with your audience, show off your work and sell products and services. And more about them and my new Squarespace website later in the video. My designer has just sent over like her first draft like mood board, like initial brand impressions from the research that she has been doing into my brand. She actually sent over a survey, and you know how much I love me a survey, that was about me <laughs> because it's like a personality brand. And that was filled in by different members of my team and also some close work colleagues, friends, and I also sent it to my patrons to fill out as well. And so what she has just sent over to me is like initial brand impressions from her research plus the results <laughs> of this survey. So I get to see what you all said about me, what you said. Okay, anyway, I'm excited. I actually am about to jump on a call with her to kind of go through my feedback on this initial stage. So I need to go through, see what I think, write down some notes and things to chat with her about. I'm excited to look. I'm excited to look. Okay, let's go. Hannah Witten brand mood. The Hannah Witten brand is currently in a really good place. Love that. Feedback about the brand is varied, but general consensus is that it is comforting, educational and playful. Love that. A nerdy, cute friend who is open, bright, and accessible. The following presentation explores where we are at and where we would like to go. Oh my God, I'm already obsessed with this. I've treated the Hannah Witten brand as one thing. I understand there are different elements to the brand and that they have different personalities. However, I think it is possible and also important that they are all singing from the same hymn sheet. Yes, this is why we are doing this. We want consistency. Oh my God, okay. Current brand colors. <laughs> We've got a lot going on here with our different things. Hmm, what fun. Okay, current brand fonts. Yes, this is where it's tricky. The lush script up here and the glamour one down here are new ones that we actually have only just recently added because I've been getting so bored with basically these three. Very annoying. So on the colors, as we can see, huge and varied color palette. I'd like to distill this down where possible. <laughs> yeah, probably. Right, and then fonts, huge variety here, disparity in tone. Fonts speak before words and tell the story of a brand. I think the variety is speaking volumes here. <laughs> okay, current brand, assets and elements, yes. I mean, it looks kind of chaotic, but fun. I wanna be involved in this brand. <laughs> I think the theme coming through these assets is handmade, hand-drawn, relatable and personal. Yes. From my research, I believe that these are important elements of your brand and should continue to evolve with it. Yes. But a little bit more consistency. That's why we hire the professional. <laughs> okay. Current brand thumbnails. I mean, fun. <laughs> they have the handmade aesthetic, important to the brand. I think I'd like to bring a bit more order to the fonts and provide some refreshed thumbnail templates, but still keeping it flexible. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, brand feedback. Okay, so this is the start of the survey that we sent out. 
So this is which archetype most closely describes Hannah Witten? We've got the nerd, the cute friend, and the enchantress. And I'm a bit confused about how these results are displayed, but I'm assuming that maybe the light pink line is like, yes, people pit that. So maybe most people pit nerd and then cute friend and then less people pit enchantress. That's fine. That's not the vibe I go for. <laughs> Despite showing my boobs and my vulva on the internet. Okay, anyway, brand feedback. So this one is, what feelings does Hannah Witten content bring up in you? And these are just some of the recurring words that came up. You know how I love me a bit of a word cloud. So we've got wholesome, camaraderie, happy, joy, comforting, curiosity, safety, reliable, interest, thoughtful, empathetic, exciting, spicy, yes, <laughs> relief, amusing, intelligent, relatable, playfulness, friendly, authentic, studious, <clears throat> community. I love that this is like reading your own, what's it called? Oh my God, I can only think of the American word, which is like report card. What is it in England? It's like attending my own parents' evening and listening to the teachers say nice things about me. <laughs> if Hannah Witten was a colour, what colour would she be? Yellow and orange. <laughs> and then we also have hazel. I mean, what colour is hazel? Is hazel like a brown? Mustard, navy, pastel green. That one is interesting to me. Purple, blue, maroons. Mm. And then dark pink slash red, feminine. Interesting, interesting. Okay, if the brand was an animal, what animal would it be? Oh my God, okay. So the big ones are like monkey, bird, dolphin, puppy, rabbit, owl. I'm not mad about that. Someone says a wise owl in sexy lingerie. <laughs> Who said that? Friendly dog, duck, lizard, love that. I, I have a leopard gecko, whose name is Mustard. Bee, fox, elephant, cat, penguin, otter, bear. Now I want to get myself like a sexy wise owl costume for Halloween. Oh my god, okay, this one's got a lot of words. Describe Hannah Witten in three words. A lot of variation here, but a good picture of the brand overall. Wondering how you feel about the term sex geek. I like the term sex geek, however, I use sex nerd because there's already a thing that exists called sex geekdom, and I didn't want to steal sex geek. Not that it's like something that they own. Are they even still running? But yeah, so, oh my God, okay, there's a lots of words here. Friendly, spicy, entertaining, sex educator, happy, relationships, inclusive, cheeky, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Direct, open, confident, cheerful, positive, enthusiastic, alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic, alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic, compassionate, playful, educator, beautiful soul, oh my goodness, thank you, passionate, outgoing, funky, inspirational, curious, fun, wise, bright, funny, big sister, mm, I am a big sister, bright, nerdy, bubbly, did we say fun, sex, sexy, funny, charming, mom, oh yeah, we have to get that American spelling, mom, accessible, organized, motivational, perky, vlogger, trustworthy, disability, witty, relatable, educational, quirky, honest, inspiring, sex geek, smart, deep dive, British. Welcome to British Deep Dive with me, Hannah Witten. Where we are going. So my perspective on the brand so far is that it is well-loved, relatable, spicy, intelligent, open, curious, friendly, playful, authentic, wholesome, and comforting. I would like to define the overall brand and then define the personalities of the different elements within, i.e. more Hannah doing it in the Patreon. I am playing with colors, typography, and illustration at the moment, but nothing is set in stone. And then this is the stuff that she needs feedback on for our conversation that is happening in 15 minutes. Illustration styles. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love these illustration styles and also think the friendly, intelligent mood and color palette of these is very on brand. I would agree. I, I like the color palette of this one. That color palette is joyous to me, as is this one. I like these illustration styles. I don't know if I like them for me. I need to have a think about that. Like there's something a little bit impersonal about, you know, like the kind of like blocky illustration style where you don't get full facial features. I don't know. And also this feels very different to like that. These are cute though. I think, oh, I don't even know like what is my favorite from here. I like this flower pattern on this cardigan. Like I want this cardigan. Like that would be nice. I want that. <laughs> typography and graphic styles. Ooh. I really like the boldness of the typography, feminine, playful and full bodied. Yeah, I do like, I like that font. I like, a lot of what is happening in this image. Like, I like most of the fonts. I like all of these different illustrations that are happening. I like these mouths. Eh. Ooh, I missed this. Summer tour. 
That's quite different to the rest of it, but I like the different colors. Okay, other brand elements. Huh, where sex has never been so nerdy. Yes, we're using this tagline. These are doodles that I've done <laughs> in the past for various videos and things. So this is the glamour font. This is one of the ones we've been playing around with recently. We like this. We want to kind of continue this vibe. Brand archetypes. Okay, we have the night owl. Wait, what's going on here? Stick with me here. But the idea behind this brand is that each coffee flavor has a personality. And this is what I'm getting at when I say we define the overall brand, colors, typography, and graphics, and then create personalities slash archetypes for the elements within. Oh, channels, patrons, podcasts, e.g. more Hannah represented by Sunflower. Okay. Oh, okay. So brand archetypes. This is just like this brand's like example of it. So I don't have to pick any of these brand archetypes, but yes, curious, that'd be fun. But then how would we separate Hannah Witten, the overall brand from then Hannah Witten, the YouTube channel? I have kind of been thinking about renaming that YouTube channel to Hannah Witten and Friends. It would still be like youtube.com forward slash Hannah Witten, but like the branding of it be Hannah Witten and Friends because we're getting like lots more guest people on that channel. Does this channel continue being called More Hannah? Who knows? I basically just copied Zoella at that point because that's what people did, right? Ooh, color palette. A rough overarching color palette. Need to work on this, but this is what I've collected so far. Okay, yes. We've got the main vibe here. I can tell that this blue is coming from the Pleasure Trove color palette, but it's not sitting well for me in this whole thing. And I prefer the kind of like bluey purple color that we have in doing it to this blue. And I feel like we're missing a bright orange. And I don't know if I'm a fan of these like paler colors, but I know that pink comes from the Hannah Witten current brand color palette. But yeah, maybe we need to go more like sunset vibes. Like if you go the full spectrum from like yellow to like purple. So actually what you're leaving out is a lot of blue and green. Like if you look at the color wheel. I did art up until the age of 13, 14 in school. Harmonious colors. That's it for now. There we go. I will check back in with you guys when there is more fun stuff to share. I'm very excited about this process. This feels so official. Totes a fish. <laughs> now in my head, that just sounds like totes a fish. Like a fish as in the little, the little swimmers. Anyway, bye. So I've actually had a couple more meetings with the designer, Kate, since I last updated you. And we are getting there with the color palette. And there's also some fun like illustration ideas to show you. And so, yeah, I wanted to take you back and give you a bit of an insight into the process so far. So this is currently where the color palette is at. Dun, dun, dun. The idea behind this is we're attempting to have one cohesive Hannah Witten color palette. And then for each project, there's like two or three hero colors. And then because all of the colors will work together, you can just borrow from the others to be your secondary colors. So what we've got here is actually, so the mustard and the like burnt orange from like the Mohana colors have like been replaced by the yellow and the orange that were from the original doing it color palette to kind of like tie those all in together. And I really love how they look, but I do feel like I'm missing the mustard and the burnt orange. Like I feel like they need to be in there somehow. I also feel like maybe I'm being a really tricky client because I'm just like, I want it all to be cohesive and to change, but also like, I, I want to keep that and I want to keep that and I want to keep that. So this like extended color palette Kate came up with, the green was because I <laughs> sent her a picture of my gloves, which are like this forest, like deep green. And I was like, we need a green like this in the color palette. <laughs> And there it is. But the rest of it, I feel like we're gonna be working on this, like bringing back the mustard, bringing back the orange. I don't think it needs so many browns, basically. But the other thing is basically, I said to her, oh, we recently rebranded doing it, so I don't wanna touch those colors. But actually, I feel like by trying hard to like hang on to them, it is restricting us. And so now I'm like, okay, 
let's pretend like we don't need to hang on to the doing it colors and let's see what can happen. <laughs> chaos, chaos. The next stage is like really finalizing this color palette, really figuring out like how it all fits together, making sure every brand has its own tone whilst also all speaking to each other. Honestly, this is why I'm not a designer. But the other fun thing that Kate showed me recently was some illustrations. So she was having a go at doing some illustrations in the colors that we have so far. So here we've got like a peach, a bra, some underwear, hearts, and the classic aubergine emoji. But the real exciting thing is the like icons or logos or avatars, or whatever you wanna call it, for the two main YouTube channels. Like I don't know if you see it, but somewhere in the bottom corner somewhere, there's a little sunflower on the Morehanna channel and there's a little like love heart, cheeky, winky tongue face on the Hannah Witten channel. Now the love heart, winky tongue face is just a doodle that I did years ago and had someone like digitize basically. And what we want to do is kind of like run with that as more of a icon, like recognizable part of the Hannah Witten brand. So these are the starts of what will be like channel logos. So you've got the sunflower and the heart and I'm obsessed with these. I just think they are so cute. And I think the style of them like really encapsulates my brand and the things that are associated with my brand, but then also like the cheekiness, the playfulness, the fun. Um, I don't know. Those are the things that I <laughs> associate with my brand my brand, the Hannah Witten brand. But yeah, these are not gonna be like the final, final ones, but I really love where these are heading and like where we're at so far with them. <laughs> Those are the main things that we've been working on and I'm excited to show you more. We're like so, so close to getting there with nailing like the actual brand elements. So like the colors and the fonts and the illustration styles. And once those are established, then we can start like making all of the stuff, like seeing what banners will look like and thumbnails will look like and you know, all of that. But we just need those foundations first. And that's why it's taking a while, but I like it. This is a fun process. I have some more updates, updates. Okay, these are kind of exciting ones because we're beginning to bring together all of the pieces and actually creating something that you will see, like that will be part of my branding. We're starting with the like main YouTube channels, banners, like their branding. <sighs> okay, first one is the Hannah Witten and Friends and then also the More Hannah logos. And so as you can see, uh, the way that they have come together, I just love the shelf idea because that way it's like connects the two, but then what we're gonna have on the shelves is gonna be really different. I think what we're gonna do here is that I really like the font that Friends is in and maybe use that for the More as well. Cause that font that we use for the More is kind of like a base font that we use a lot, but I think we need the kind of more like handwritten fun font here. In terms of like details, I need to figure out actually what words I want to have on the books because those are gonna be kind of like the summary words that when someone like comes to my channel, they're like, oh, that's what happens here. Like that's what the themes are here. One of the things though for the More Hannah channel that I was thinking is it not just being books, because it's kind of weird having a book that like says books on it, but instead, because it's a more lifestyle channel, there could be other things things and like objects on the shelf. So more of a like show don't tell situation for more Hannah. But then I think it would still be necessary to have the words because that can be really useful for when like new people come to the channel, but also when brands come to the channel, especially when it's like a lifestyle channel, that's such a broad term. And so being able to get specific about like, no, these are the things within lifestyle that I cover. But I do think it needs a bit more than just like books and a plant pot like things like clothes and like maybe like a little desk calendar kind of thing to kind of represent the organization like work behind the scenes stuff that we talk about here but in general i am like so excited by 
these and I think they're really cute and yeah I just like the way that they're connected but then we're creating like two different things. This is like a new colour palette that she sent over but actually throwing a massive spanner in the works here when it comes to <laughs> the colour palette but I do really like the way that this all looks together it feels a lot more cohesive however this is my spanner I recently did a colour analysis I had a professional stylist find my colours based on my skin tone and it turns out that your girl's season for colours is spring which is these kinds of colours. As you can see, what else have we got here? Oh, there's some purples. So these are the kind of tones that like suit me personally. And obviously we're working on a personal brand, even though it's like work, it is still very much connected to me. So can you tell? These are my colours, these are my colours. So I've sent this over to Kate and we'll see if this changes anything. That might change some things. <laughs> when it comes to the colour palette that we're working on. And then she also just sent me over some sketches in colour, but this is before this happened, so this could all change. And I'm really into like the red, pink and purple, which I like wasn't expecting, but those colours together, but let's see if we can like figure out how that would work in spring colours. Does it have to be in spring colours just because I'm now a spring tone gal? No, like, my work and personal life don't have to be completely intertwined, Hannah. Something like that. What else have we got here? We've got a darker purple there. Yeah, who knows? I think this needs a bit more work. I'm not a fan of the more like graphic fonts on this. I do feel like it needs to be more hand-drawn vibes. So having the like graphic typeface next to like a very sketchy hand-drawn plant, I think that's not working for me. It needs to be like all kind of hand-drawn and a bit messy. Do we need to change the colors on these? <gasps> we might. Although look, there's still a mustard e kind of yellow in the spring palette. Anyway, my next meeting with Kate is in a week and I sent over some of my feedback on these and I also sent over this situation. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Oh, oh, I forgot one more thing that she sent over was a first go at a like subscribe graphic thing that will go on videos. And I really like it, but I'm not keen on the finger with like the long nail. I think that just needs to be a like cursor, like a mouse cursor. I think especially because when you've only got one finger, then it's only one skin tone and I don't want I don't know, you can't like represent everyone with just one finger. But if it's a mouse cursor, then that makes a lot more sense because that's actually how people are subscribing. But I really like this. And I really like the pink and the red. And I think that pink and the red are kind of spring tones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We love to see it. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. I'm so terrible at doing these updates. I feel like I've had so many <laughs> things happen but this morning we have another like design update call we are like basically there with the youtube banners there's been like a few changes i think the color thing is like <clears throat> locked in next stuff that we are working on is like the website and patreon and like podcast assets and things the website <laughs> oh my god i had an absolute mare on the weekend because basically we're moving my website from where it's currently hosted to Squarespace to have all of my websites hosted on Squarespace. It's just like so much easier for me to have it all in one place. And I find Squarespace easier to use than where I've been before. Can you tell I'm not naming any competitors because I want Squarespace to sponsor this video? The situation was I was going to be charged for another whole year of hosting with the current place imminently. So we were like, we need to transfer everything over so I can like cancel this hosting and not be like doubly charged basically, not for paying for hosting that I'm not gonna be using. I did that, <laughs> but I accidentally also deleted the wrong thing. And so then my email stopped working. Like my like at hannahwitten.com emails, like any email that had that domain gone luckily my husband is an it engineer this is all happening on a saturday morning by the way mega stress my husband is an it engineer and he did some and he was like it's your dns your dns doesn't exist your dns record something about mx 
anyway, it was super stressful because I was trying to log in, but it was sending a code to my email, but obviously I couldn't access my email to get the code to log in. Managed to log in via my phone, <sighs> spoke to someone and they sorted it out and I've got my email back. <gasps> but we now have another deadline of when my, this year of hosting, so it's not gonna renew, we've canceled the renewal, but there is a deadline of when this hosting finishes. So we just need to like doubly make sure that my DNS record is properly transferred over to Squarespace. So stressful, so stressful. So that's what's been going on, but I'm about to hop on a call with Kate, our designer, and the rest of the team, see what's going on and kind of start to put together a bit more of a concrete timeline of when we want to like <gasps> launch <laughs> and when this video is going to come out i don't even know <laughs> oh we'll see we'll see but oh my god my email is working we just need to make sure this doesn't happen again when we transfer everything over fingers crossed ah <laughs> So yes, I have moved my website over to Squarespace and thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I've been using Squarespace for years, like with other websites, like my podcast website. And so it was about time that I brought hannahwitten.com into the Squarespace family because I just find it so easy to use. And the new website is now live. You can go and check it out and let me know what you think. This is very much just like a hub for everything that I do. So it's where you can find like info on all of the different projects and books, YouTube, podcast, Patreon, the shop, all of these things. And we've made use of lots of Squarespace's amazing features like the blog feature, you can do customizable layouts and also the comments function as threads and there can be replies and likes. We also use a lot of the great blogging tools on Squarespace on the Doing It podcast website to help categorize and schedule all of the show notes and transcripts. You can also connect your social media accounts to display posts on your website and they will automatically update and vice versa. So you can set it up where if you post something new on your website, it automatically posts to your social media accounts. And you can also have an online store with Squarespace where everything front and back end is taken care of. You can sell physical or digital products and we've moved the Hannah Witten shop over to Squarespace along with everything else as well. And so that is now where you can get access to the digital sexy scribbles coloring books. So if you want to create a website to build your own brand, business, online presence, whatever it may be, then head to squarespace.com to start a free trial. And then when you are ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash more Hannah to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Link in the description. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring and on with the rest of the video. That was a very full on meeting. A lot was covered. We had everyone there from Mia to Moog to Bethan. So like all of the different pieces coming into place because Moog does most of the social media stuff. Bethan does the video editing, Mia producer head. Ah! Okay. <laughs> it is a uh, eating lunch from a desk kind of day, but I really wanted to show you where we're currently at. <laughs> the Hannah Witten brand. This is our lovely new logo. These are some vibes, nerdy, curious, playful, mm-hmm. Primary logo, Hannah Witten channel logo. You can now see that font, finally, because I hadn't bought it yet, but now I've bought it, the And Friends one. More Hannah. Okay, colors, we're almost there. We're literally changing two things. We're adding like a sky blue, and then the purple that's next to the blue, I still can't tell that it's purple, is gonna be a bit more obviously purple. I think that's where we're at. I'm so excited by these colors. Fonts, 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 <gasps> doodles! Okay, so we were giving a bunch of feedback on these doodles and then also just like listing a whole bunch of other things that we want doodles for so that we just have this library of doodles that we can use across everything, everywhere. I'm so excited. I love them. I think they're super cute. YouTube. Okay, oh, this is where the banner is at. There's like a few minor changes to this happening, but I'm so happy with where this is at. It looks gorgeous. More Hannah, again, just a few minor changes, but we are basically there. I'm so excited. How can you tell I'm so excited? So color palettes. The deal with the colors is that we have this like whole color palette for everything, but then for each project, it has its own set of colors so that it can be distinct from each other, but also they still like speak to each other and you can tell it's all part of the same thing. So we've got Hannah Witten, more Hannah. Hannah Witten, more Hannah. 
Hannah Witten, more Hannah. Do you see that? Do you see what's happening there? So this one's more pinky purpley, and then this one's more like orange, yellow, bluey. And then some thumbnail examples. This is probably not what thumbnails are gonna look like, but you can tell just from the color vibe, the differences. There we go. Some more doodle stuff, end screen stuff, subscribe buttons, social media handle doodle things, podcast stuff. So new artwork. I've been so attached to the neon because that's what's on the book. However, our designer Kate is like, can I try not the neon? So we're, we're gonna try it. I don't know if my attachment to it is rational or not. So we're gonna see it without the neon. But this is where this is at currently. This was the first time, this meeting was the first time we saw these mock-ups that she did of like social media posts and we were blown away. We were all fully obsessed with these. They don't quite have the same tone as this graphic image of like the main podcast artwork. So what we're gonna try and do is kind of meet somewhere in the middle, maybe make this artwork a bit more like what these graphic posts are doing because we were like, oh my God, yes. So good. Examples of how the different sizing basically of like the reels images and stuff. Patreon, this we need to work on. This we haven't really done much to yet, but the common room logo, like different versions, it's like basically the same, but we've just changed the font to like the new font that we're using. This needs some work, but I actually haven't really given Kate any guidance on this yet. But that's the thing that I need to do. I need to write a lot of things for what I want for the Patreon. This is current Patreon stuff, so this will be updated. Wallpapers, there's gonna be like a new Patreon welcome pack with wallpapers. Obsessed. I like, I think I want this as a wallpaper, like an actual wallpaper. Is that too much? I don't know. Website and newsletter. Again, this is all new. I think we're gonna be calling the newsletter between the sheets and we're gonna be moving over to Substack. This is potentially what it's gonna look like, but we need to again to figure out the different sections and stuff for that. And then that's it. We did it. Okay. I've got so much more to do today, but that's the update. Okay, so as part of this big rebrand thing that I'm doing, I need new headshots. And so that brings us to here. Da, da, da. We have Becca over there. We've got Kat over here. And so clothes here. And time to get my makeup done and take some photos. and we're gonna start shooting on this purple. Like this one is massive, but yeah. Changing roles, pumping time, and new outfit. We have been working on this since the beginning of the year. So it's been a good few months, but the wait has been worth it. I am so excited. I just finished my last feedback meeting with the designer, Kate. Also got the photos back from Becca and they are <coughs> so excited. There's just a few more final tweaks to do here and there and then just kind of like compiling everything, like this whole new brand, like having like 
decks and brand bibles and all of the assets all in one place so editors and whoever I'm working with can like easily find everything and use all of the things but then we are ready to go and obviously you're seeing this it's all live it's all happened <laughs> it's done <laughs> So we've spent the most time on like the foundations and that was things like fonts and colors. And then once we had those down, then it was really quick to kind of like build everything from that. And the colors especially went on a journey. So these were the colors that we started with in terms of like my branding and all my different projects. And then this was the first set of colors that Kate showed me in one of our first kickoff meetings. And then this is the color palette we have ended on. Eee! So as you can see, it is a lot of colors, but this color palette works for its intended purpose. And the intended purpose was to have one color palette, one set of colors that was Hannah Witten, the Hannah Witten brand. And then amongst that, for all of my different projects and platforms, you have like the hero and the highlight colors for that thing. But each project can still steal and use and borrow colors from anywhere else in the color palette. And I really saw how this color palette works as a whole when Kate first showed me the colors that she'd picked to be like the newsletter branding. And she just picked six colors from amongst this color palette and it just like gave a vibe and it was like its own thing and it had its own feeling but all of the colors like went together so well so i'm really excited to play around with this color palette as well and maybe like in the future if i launch another project or another platform because i love doing that <laughs> apparently then you know we'll like figure out which color combination we want to use for that and that's really exciting to me. And then we also have this whole library catalogue of illustrations that you will see popping up in branding, but also like in video thumbnails and in videos themselves. And I'm so excited to use these. But also if we in a few months time are like, oh, it'd be really great to have an illustration of this thing, then Kate has given us all of the colors that we need and also the brush strokes that she used. So it will be really easy for somebody else using the same tools to like recreate a different illustration, but it be in that similar style and it looks all part of the same family. So that's super cool. Also, oh my God, the podcast doing it got new branding, which I wasn't expecting because we updated this branding not too long ago. And there was a lot of back and forth on this. There was a lot of resistance on my part, but eventually I was like, no, this is right. We said goodbye to the neon. The neon is gone. Do I still have a doing it neon sign in my studio? Yes, I do, but that's fine. <laughs> that can stay. But yes, the podcast has new branding, which is a fun time to be launching new branding for it because we're not currently uploading any episodes. We're actually working on something a bit bigger for the podcast for next season. Things are gonna look a little bit different, but things are also gonna take longer. So watch this space. But everything got a spruce up. So the YouTube channels, the podcast, the newsletter, Patreon, and my website, like everything. And it feels so good. It feels so good to have new stuff. And speaking of new stuff and something special for you guys is we've created a new welcome pack for my patrons. So this welcome pack includes lots of different phone and desktop wallpapers. In these new illustration styles, there's so many and they are so cute and I am obsessed with them. So if you sign up to my Patreon, they are available now. Anyone, any tier that you are signed up, you get access to this and you can use them as you wish. But there is something else that you get access to if you are a current patron or if you sign up in the next two weeks. And that 
is access to the Legacy Welcome Pack. So when this special offer ends in a couple of weeks, I will be deleting, removing the old Welcome Pack from Patreon. So it will be no longer available to new patrons who sign up. So if you want access to the Legacy Welcome Pack with the Legacy wallpapers and branding, then do make sure you sign up before that deadline. All of the information is going to be on my Patreon linked in the description. So going forwards, everyone who signs up to the Patreon will have access to the new welcome pack, but the old one, the legacy one, is only going to be available for a short time after this video comes out. So if you do want it, now is your chance. And of course, massive shout out to Kate, who's the designer who worked with me on this whole project. It has been an absolute joy. I just felt like she got me. She always had such amazing and creative ideas and I really looked forward to all of the meetings that we had because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get to see a new deck. I'm gonna get to see some new stuff. Isn't that fun? Also wanted to do a big shout out to her because she started a YouTube channel all about being an artiste. She has recently started an MA and so she's making videos about her experience in art school, also being a designer, being a mum, like all of that kind of stuff. I will link her YouTube channel in the description if you want to go and support her. So thank you so much Kate and thank you so much to you guys for watching and listening to and engaging in my content. If you haven't already, obviously now is the time to sign up to Patreon. Now is the time to sign up to the newsletter. The first newsletter with the new branding is going to be coming out on the 1st, on Monday, in like a few days time from when this video is going live. So sign up. Also, there'll be some photos from the photo shoot on my new Squarespace website, but I'll also be posting lots of other ones from that shoot on my Instagram. So go follow me there. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this like behind the scenes design process. I hope that it was interesting to you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.